So uh, in case you didn't know this, uh, C++ now this year has an additional track that would be the nostalgic track. So thank you for opening it. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, I'm Andre Zisu. I currently work uh, at a company named uh, Morphisec, uh, cyber company does something called uh, <clears throat> moving target defense, very interesting uh, novel stuff. Uh, prior to this, some um, half a year ago, I was doing some uh, job searching. And obviously, as part of that, you need to uh, interview. Hmm? Does it work? Try spacebar. Spacebar. So. <laughs> really? You need to do that? So, <clears throat> uh, weird thing is that. Uh, that company was actually expecting all its uh, candidates to show up on Zoom. And for some reason on that day, I preferred to show up in person, which kind of surprised them. Uh, and they weren't really prepared for that. They need, needed to find some uh, computer to give me. They found a you know, laptop, uh, which <laughs> you see where I'm going. So welcome to basically what you're talking about. <clears throat> Yep, that's bad math, but at least I had used that once, which played to my advantage, although the trauma is still here. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so I was given two hours. Don't remember all the exact uh, details, uh, but some things I had to stumble on too. So at some point I needed to store a, a map of strings and obviously to iterate them. Uh, and nowadays it's pretty easy. For example, you can use auto if you want to work with the iterator. Uh, we, and it would be nice to be at least able to work easily with an iterator since you don't have a range loop. Uh, <clears throat> so we can't have either of those. So at least we want, we need now to use the, the pair IB of the map, the, its value type and also of course, we also don't have structured bindings, so it's going to be pretty ugly. I wanted to optimize things a little bit, but of course, there is no unordered map. But all this doesn't really matter because, for some unclear reason, a map of strings didn't even compile. <coughs> I wanted to return an object. Uh, of course, there are no move semantics. So let's put it on the heap. If I want to put it on the heap, I need to do either new and delete. Not nice or to do auto PTR, says I was very undecided as to which of those alternatives I hated more. I decided to use an out parameter. <clears throat> and I wanted to initialize a data member the proper way in the class header, not have to count on constructors. And of course, that's not possible before C++11 unless it's a static member. So, <clears throat> uh, I did manage to get something working, but the two hours were not enough. It took me three hours. I did not try finished everything, but the interviewer was very uh, very shocked. I think that I had actually managed to uh, complete that. So he did want to uh, to proceed with me, but I was about to uh, sign another offer. So it was a very interesting evening. And I second uh, what you just said, basically. Thank you. 